Hello everyone out there. My name is Bradley Allen Hingley. H-I-N-G-E-L-E-Y. As you can tell by the American flag on me, I am a loyal, patriotic American. I will do anything and everything to preserve not only my own freedoms, but to preserve the very constitution and ideas that our country was founded on by our forefathers. This person, Obama, whose real name, by the way, is Barry Soretto, it was legally changed, and there was no legal paperwork stating he ever changed it back, is trying to take over our country, trying to make it like communist Russia, Nazi Germany. These did not work. They all failed. All right. In Nazi Germany, before we entered World War II, he, Hitler signed a law making everyone who was Jewish have to wear a gold star or gold ribbon to identify themselves as a Jewish person. Today, in this country, there are states that have started to make it a law that anyone volunteering in any capacity must wear a white bracelet a white, one of those white plastic bands you see a lot of people wear to say like, what would Jesus do or whatever, only it's white. And you only have to wear them if you are white. Alright. They have signed bills to make it a law to where the common person cannot hold on any kind of semi-automatic or automatic weapon. Well, I'm here to tell you this. Anyone who can try to come after me and my weapons, I'll kill them. Dead. It is my right as an American to own a weapon under our Second Amendment, which states that each and every fucking citizen shall have the right to keep and bear arms for the protection of his home and for the protection and overthrowing, if need be, of this country. Okay? What that means is that they had it in law in writing, the, our founding fathers had thought this through. That if this country ever, ever tried to revert to a dictatorship, a uh, fascist, socialist, communist, in, any monarchy, anything like that, anything where we would lose our fundamental rights of free speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, anything like that, that we, the people, could take it back via armed conflict, if need be. The first thing that they have to get rid of in order for this country to fall and go from a democracy, which is great, I love it, to a socialist, fascist, or anything like that, government, is that they have to take away yours and my right to bear arms. And then, they have to come in and take our weaponry. This will not work. I, for one, would rather be dead than give up any of my rights. I, for one, 
would rather face the dangers that are out there than have the government protect me from them. Okay? Yes. As I have said before, I am a loyal, patriotic American. As anyone who was ever in the service will see, this is definitely a military issue shirt that I am wearing. I did serve in the armed forces. I was, a spe I was a special forces. I love this country more than anything. But if they come and try to take my guns, not only do they have to worry about my guns, they've got to worry about my other friends as well. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I will use any and all means at my disposal to protect my rights, the constitution of this country, and the rights of our children. No one on my watch will make this country go into a dictatorship. Because ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're heading. I called this eight years ago, well going to be eight years ago, when Obama ran for president. I called it then, and I've been calling it ever since. Everything that I've been calling to all my friends has come true. All right. They're trying to start a second revolution, well, a second civil war. Only this time, they're trying to use race as the catalyst to do it. By trying to get the Spanish and the blacks and anyone else to come against the white people so that the elites, the people that run it, the people in government can sit back and not have to get their hands dirty. I'm talk now I'm going to talk directly to my brothers and sisters serving in the military. Obama has been using a sort of acid test on the high the higher ranking officials that acid test is very simple he asked them will you fire on American citizens and if they say no they're forced to resign their commission forced out of the military. Ladies and gentlemen, this only states one thing. That he's trying to set himself up as a dictator to run our country. Do you realize that under Obama, actually, come think of it, he's the only president ever in our over 200 year history to use executive law bypass Congress, bypass anyone else in the government, and say, okay, it's illegal to do this, no, it's illegal to, it's illegal to do that, it's legal to, for illegal immigrants to come over and stay and all that, and they don't have to worry about anything. But, if you're a white person, you got to worry about everything. Now, didn't it come out in his first presidential uh, term that he attended a church where the pastor was talking about how America is the devil, whitey is, you know, the white man's the devil, the white man's evil, the white man's responsible for everything, it's all the white man's fault. And did he or did Obama not, or should I say Soretto, not say he was not a member of that church? But yet everything he's doing now, everything that's going on now, mirrors what that pastor had said. And not just his sermons, but in a couple of books that he wrote. Hmm.
Interesting. They have been for years putting a chemical called aspartame into our gum. Now aspartame is the crap, if you will, of genetically engineered E. coli. They feed it oil sludge, all this toxic, nasty stuff. And it produces aspartame. Now what happens with aspartame, what the side effect or the effect of aspartame is, is it makes the people that take it sterile. It makes them more docile so that it's easier for the government to control them. I for one, ladies and gentlemen, don't want the government controlling me. I do not want anything like the book 1984 or the movie The Running Man or more recently the movie Hunger Games to come into effect in this country where one place runs everything and everyone else is enslaved. I do not want that. I am living at 578 Main Street, Apartment 1, Cobleskill, New York, 12043. I'm originally from Temple, Texas. I moved up here when I was a child with my family. Now, I'm telling you this because I'm quite sure that there's going to be some government people that will watch this. And I do not care if they know my address. Because I'm standing firm on my First Amendment rights. I'm standing firm on my constitutional rights. And I'm standing firm on my inalienable rights. Uh, I'm not a racist. By any means. I have several friends of mine that are black. I have several friends of mine that are white that are black. That have children that are of mixed and pure white breed. I do not care. I consider everyone to have two classes of people. The class that's trying to do something and make something of themselves. That's white, black, Mexican, it don't matter. Then you have the second class. Who don't want to do nothing. Sit on their ass, receive welfare, not do anything, not go to school, not try to better themselves. Just sit on their ass, not do nothing, sell drugs to kids, sell drugs to other people, commit violent crimes, go to prison, get out, recommit them. They just don't care. And those are white trash, specs, niggas, don't matter. The definition, which, by the way, Webster's has been forced to take out of its dictionary, of a nigger is someone who is lazy and unintelligent. That can mean someone who's white, black, yellow with orange and red polka dots all over it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't say a black person. It says a person. Ladies and gentlemen, this country is headed for some very rough times. We, as Americans, who love the Constitution, who love our freedoms, must, not will have to, but must now make hard decisions. The decisions of whether we're going to sit back and let it all happen, or the decision that we will stand, we will stop what they are trying to do, we will stop Obama, we will stop anyone who's trying to take away our rights by any means necessary, if need be. I would prefer to see this happen peacefully, no bloodshed, nobody gets hurt. But if need be, I will fight into the death for my constitutional rights. If that means I will have to tell people, then that's so be it.
Because in my eyes, anyone who tries to take away my guns isn't an American. They're a stormtrooping, goose-stepping Nazi. Or, to put it more terms, a goose-stepping UN soldier who has sold his soul to the UN. I'm not one of them. I will stand. I will fight for my country. I love this country more than anyone will ever imagine. I'll do anything for this country. And if it means giving my life so that we can stay a free, democratic society, then so be it. On another note, ladies and gentlemen, I have been using the internet to try and run for president. I do not have a lot of money. This is the only way that I can do it, as a matter of fact, because I'm on an extremely tight fixed income, as I'm sure a lot of people are nowadays. If, in 2016, I am elected president of the United States, I can guarantee two things. One, the Constitution will come first. Two, all laws that have been put into action to take and move us towards a socialistic country or towards a dictatorship country will be repealed. I'll veto them. I'll make them non-existent. The other thing I can promise, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, is I will do everything and anything in my power to bring America back to being great. And I will cut our deficit. Within one year, I should be able to cut our deficit. I don't know how much, but I will. I will do my best to do it. It will be one of my top priorities. My very first top priority will be bringing our brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews, sons and daughters home from Afghanistan and Iraq if they're not already home by then. And this, I can guarantee you, this is a promise that I will make to you. I do not make promises often, but this, this is a promise that I'm making to the American people. Once again, my name is Bradley Allen Hensley. It's spelled, my middle name is spelled A-L-L-E-N. My last name is spelled H-I-N-G-E-L-E-Y. And I am a true, loyal, patriotic American who will do anything and everything to keep this country from going to a dictatorship or communistic or any kind of thing where we lose our freedom. And I'm asking that in 2016, on the next election, you write me in for the next president of the United States. You write me in, or you write in someone else who you believe will be able to affect true change. Not just someone who will say they'll bring change and have it be the kind of change that we've been seeing under Obama, but who will bring true change that will better this country and better this country's citizens. Their legal citizens. 
Thank you for listening to this and watching this video. If you like it, please hit like and leave any comments you want. And subscribe. I will be trying to make future videos as soon as I can in the future. But I understand now I, for some reason my internet seems to be going in and out at different times. And my computer doesn't mess up. It's just all of a sudden the internet's gone. So... I will do my best to continuously make new videos. Thank you and may God bless America once again.